morning, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about reduce. What is reduce in the first place? Reduce is whenever you go about and turn your natural hair into dread for the first time, and then you coming back in the future, using your new growth and turning them back into dread again. That's what they call reduce. So the time in between the first time you went about doing your first twist, the time you're gonna do your reduce, and that's the time we're gonna be talking about today. So the question is, how many months should you go about, you know, before doing your reduce? Uh, I mean, how many months should you go about growing your hair before doing your reduce, right? So some people might say go about you know, four months, six months, seven months, eight months. It all gonna depends on each individual how you wanna carry yourself outside and your occupation or your lifestyle, whatever you know you name it, right? Some people might go whatever time they, they place, right? Come on, Mr. People always do that. Too. Or we go about you know twitching their hairs every end of the month or every end of two months. Which is not good at all. Your hair lines, you're gonna be that small. So they're gonna be obliged to be pulling your hairs, pulling your hairs, pulling your hairs. Pulling your hairs. By pulling your hairs, you're putting unnecessary stress on your hair scalp. And when your hair scalp, you know, are under stress, they're gonna be inflamed. They're gonna require time, you know, to recover. So in that recovering times, it's gonna be slowing down your hair growth. So you don't wanna be in that kind of situation whereby you're going about, you know, uh, struggling with the hair growth, right? So you wanna be in a situation whereby, you know, you're growing your hair faster compared to normal. Or worst case scenario, you're gonna about growing your hair way normal. In this way, you're gonna get in all those beautiful dread, long dread on your head, right? Pulling your hairs. Not a good idea to be going about, you know, pulling your hairs just after every end of the month or every end of two months because you, you are in a rush to get it on your head in the first twitching your hair you might be putting unnecessary stress on your hair fibers and your hair follicles your hair fibers and your hair follicles are gonna be damaged so when they are damaged they're gonna be weak any small movement you're gonna be doing with your hairs in the future if you just you know by touching them normal touching them they're gonna start breaking so the question is how are you gonna be getting all those nice beautiful dread on your head right so keep your hands out of your hair yeah because you want your hair to go way more natural keep your hands out of your hair yeah my nigga is keep your hand out of your hair let your hair grow mm? way natural do that things my best recommendation should be going about you know four months minimum growing hairs maximum six months growing your hairs we choose in time gonna be twice if you just growing your hair for six months twice in a year and if you're growing your hairs for four months that's gonna be three times in a year your reduce and this way you know your hair scalp are gonna be able to be you know resting without you being you know, putting more much more pressure on your hair scalp and on your hair whoever going about you know twisting their hairs twisting their hairs twisting their hair because they want their hair to look faster in this way you're gonna be breaking your hairs because the more you twist your hairs, you twist your hair in your mind. This is when I, you know, be locking your hair fast. It's not gonna work that way. Twist one time and get your hands off your hair. Let your hair tangle, do the rest by themselves way natural. In this way, you're gonna be having healthy hair on your head, right? So, and that's what I'm doing most of the time. You want beautiful dread? Yeah. Three more, four more, five more, six months before you start reading. That was all about in today's video. If you have any further questions, ask me questions. I'll be here to give you guys an answer. And do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification clock. You know, and stay tuned for my next video to be coming soon. Bye bye.